Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Shayla, if this is your first time here. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the brand new Mac Times Aladdin collection. Um, so this is kind of like a review because I will be giving you my thoughts on the collection, but it's more of just showing you the products. Um, I think it's super cute. I just saw Aladdin yesterday and I was like, you know what? I wanna film a little video. So all the packaging's gold with, you can see teal accents. This has like a little design on it. Um, the lip glosses are actually clear with like a maroon color and the lipsticks have like a little gold. I think it's just really pretty to look at. Ooh, look at the black liner. Like it has that like teal all over it. These are like feathers actually. <laughs> I'm like, what is that design? It's a peacock feather. Super cute. So the Aladdin collection comes with the eyeshadow palette. Princess Jasmine, you can see it here. It comes with two blushes. They're actually like a bronzer and a highlighter, but they're called blushes. I have them right here, really cute. And they have like a little lamp engraved in them. I don't know if you can kind of see it. Let me show you on the brown one. Little lamp up in there. That'll like go away like halfway through it, but it's still super cute. One rose colored pigment, which is a re-release with the collection. It's coming out with a glaze gloss, which is like a sheer gloss you put on with your finger. Did I say the lip glosses? Three lip glosses, which are pretty sheer in color, so they're not gonna give you, they're not like lip gloss where it's like heavy pigment. They're, well, I think they are lip gloss, <laughs> but they're more of like a sheer lip gloss. Um, we have the Graphline Black Liner. Is that everything? And then we have four lipsticks in the gold tube. So just first impressions, I think it's just adorable, it's super cute. I think everyone grew up watching Aladdin, so it's kind of just fun and and just lighthearted and I just love the energy of the collection. So in today's video, you're gonna see me apply everything that I have on here and then I'm gonna give you um, just my thoughts on what I would buy, what I think's worth purchasing and what I liked and what I didn't like. So without further ado, Let's get started. All right, so I prepped my eyes with the Makeup Forever concealer and I'm just gonna jump right into the palette. So the Princess Jasmine palette has, er, is it one? It has three matte shades and the transition color, you can see right here is like too beige. Like it's just, it's not gonna look right. It's gonna be too light, I already know. So I'm gonna use my eyeshadow culture from my Proceed With Caution palette. It's just like a good transition color, you know what I mean? Just like a neutral brown. Put this in the crease. This is probably the only color that I'm not gonna be using from the palette. I kinda feel like we're a little too far away. Yeah, we need to fix that. That's better. <laughs> you guys were super far. I was like looking like, wait, what's happening here? All right, next we're gonna go in with the darkest shade from the palette, and I'm just gonna kinda press this into the crease. It is pretty dark, so I'm not gonna use my fluffy blending brush. I'm using like a smaller blending brush. This is Zoeva 231. We're just gonna like press it. You know what's weird? My voice wasn't sounding this hoarse like 15 minutes ago. I'm still like recovering from my France trip and you know, they're like nine hours ahead. So I'm like a little jet lagged, you know. All right, switching to the Sigma E40, I'm just gonna blend this out. So we went to the movies last night and saw Aladdin, and the first 20 minutes, you guys, I was like, <laughs> it was like kind of cheesy, you know? It was like kind of like a little corny, and then as soon as Will Smith appeared, it was just like a game changer. It took or I should say he took the movie up like 10 notches, for real, for real. Like it could have been like a Lifetime movie <laughs> or like a made for TV movie. That's how I felt before Will Smith came. I'm dead ass serious. <laughs> and I feel like everyone who's seen the movie told me that too. They're like 100% agree the first 20 minutes, 30 minutes was like not the business. Ooh, this is blending out nicely. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of the P. Louise eyeshadow base in number three, just all over the lid. I wanna make sure that this color kind of stands out. I'm not really cutting the crease. I'm just gonna kind of just put it all over. Semi-cut, okay, semi-cut. A cut crease to me is like a super sharp line in the crease and we're not gonna do all that. Just like a little, little base, you know, a little bit. Just like that. All right, now I'm gonna go in with this purple shade right here, and I'm gonna put this on the inside and the outside of the lid. Ooh. 
Oh yes, this reminds me of Mac Nocturnal. Is it Nocturnal? Er, oh, that was Shadowy Lady. No, it's not Nocturnal, but it kind of does look like Max Eyeshadow Nocturnal. I'm only doing one eye on camera just because like I do the same thing, you know, about both eyes. So I keep looking at this like, where's the mirror at? That's the only thing about the, these palettes. There's no mirror. So just leave that little space open right there. Okay, so this shade right here is like an iridescence. See? I kind of feel like if I put this on my lid by itself, it's not gonna show up like I want it to. So I'm gonna put this kind of silvery pink. Yeah, silvery pink all over the lid and then this color right on top of it. Ooh, that's cute. Oh yes. I like that. All right, time to layer. Let's put this bad boy right on top. It kind of has like a greenish, bluish iridescence to it. Yeah, see? It kind of shows up just like a little sparkle that I feel like you can't really see on camera, but you can see it a little bit in person. I almost feel like I could have done like a pink base with that color, because it's kind of like barely showing up. That's okay though. Even over black, it might look good over black. All right, I'm gonna line my bottom lash line with the Graph Black Liner. This is a permanent color. You guys know this from MAC, but it has a special packaging, which is super cool. So I'm gonna line my waterline and under my lash line. So at this moment, you guys, I have not seen Game of Thrones. When By the time you guys watch this video, I would have seen it because we're gonna watch it tonight, but I was out of town for a week during the finale and based off the reviews, I'm like, do I even want to see it, you know? Like it's kind of good without seeing the finale. I feel like if I see the finale, it's just gonna like ruin everything. I'm gonna line the top with ColourPop Swerve Eyeliner. Little bad boy here, different part, da, da. And I'm not gonna wing it, I'm just gonna do like a thick line on the outer corner and then make it just a little bit thinner towards my nose, the inner corner, I guess. Actually, I am gonna wing it because I'm looking at it, I'm like, hmm. Usually I'll just smudge this corner. I was like, nah, let's not be basic. Let's freaking put a wing on it. Oh, oh, oh. All right, now I'm gonna set my bottom liner with this Shadowy Lady purple shade. And then with a the little bullet brush, smudge it. All right, this is the new Laura Mercier mascara. Just gonna put this on my top and bottom lashes and we're gonna do falsies. We have to do, look at, see what happens when I put mascara on? My lashes are so short that it's just, like I need lashes, you know, I need false lashes. Er day. All right, I'm gonna finish off the eyes with the Lily, this is the birthday bitch lash kit. <laughs> birthday B lash kit um, and I'm using the one in the middle there. You can see there's one missing it's in my hand, right? Cha. Ooh, these lashes are a bit big. All right, so this is your Wish Is My Command Powder Blush. I feel like this is probably more of like a bronzer, but we're gonna try it. I feel like it's showing up like a little bit. Just a little bit. This is showing up a lot darker than I thought, actually. Just put this over here. Bronze her up. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of this after the highlighter. Yeah, this is working. I feel like if you're like a couple shades darker than me, it's probably gonna be too light. It's kind of like barely showing. I'm like really packing it on here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna apply always one jump ahead highlighter. I don't know why these are called blushes. I'm all this highlighter. Okay. Oh shoot, I forgot to set my makeup. Ah! I set it before I started filming, but you know, I like to like set it after I have eyeshadow on and whatnot. It's all good. Ooh, this is cute. A little bit there. All right, back to the bronzer. Just put a little bit more of this, just to kind of blend the highlighter out a little bit. Oh. All right, I'm gonna apply all the lipsticks just so you guys can kind of see them. And I'm gonna apply it without a lip liner just so it's kind of like quick, just so you can see the color. Cause I know sometimes my brown lip liner will change how it looks. So let's just apply them one by one. This is Whole New World. So this one says matte, but it kind of has like a sheen to it. It looks a little glossy to me though. All right, this color's Raja. I'd wear this with like just lashes and like no eyeshadow, you know? Or even put like a little bit on and like blot it, mix it with the nude. Mm-hmm, is this a matte too? Yep, yeah, matte. Okay, this one definitely feels matte. Feels and looks matte. All right, so I added a brown nude lip liner because this color is super light um, and I don't want to play myself, you know, you know how that goes with the light lips. No, 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 no. Uh, so this is Friend Like Me. Oh yeah, see? 
powdery. Okay, thank you, next. All right, the last color is Princess Incognito. It's like a nude pink. So I lined my lips with BFF4 lip liner from ColourPop. And I feel like, yeah. I just like knew this was gonna look good based off the swatches. Ooh, yeah, add a little more liner. Always go in for seconds with the liner. And then I'm gonna finish off the look with a kind of pinker gloss. This is Jewels on Jewels. Oh, okay, Jewels on Jewels. It has like a little bit of color, but for the most part, all of the glosses are pretty sheer. This shade, I think it's an iridescent pink. Magic Carpet Ride is like an iridescent like purple, so I probably wouldn't wear that on the lips because I don't like iridescent, you know, glow in the dark type stuff. But this one is really cute. Jewels on Jewels. Yes. All right guys, here is the finished look. I definitely recommend the eyeshadow palette. I feel like you can't go wrong with MAC eyeshadows. Um, I like the lipstick that I have on now, which is Jewels on Jewels. Uh, or was that the gloss? Wait, hold on. Cause this lip combo is actually really, oh yeah, Princess Incognito with Jewels on Jewels lip gloss. Definitely recommend. Also, Diamond in the Rough is more of like a gold gloss. I think you guys will like that. Um, I like the highlighter and rose pigment, which I didn't use, um, but Max had this color before. It's really pretty. The pigments are super pigmented. They're, they're just, I mean, they're, they're exactly what, what they say they are. They're pigments. Um, the only thing from the collection that I probably wouldn't get would be the iridescent gloss magic carpet ride. I can't like talk today. I think I'm, it's the jet lag. I don't know. Magic carpet ride. And honestly, like the other three lipsticks. I kind of just like this incognito lipstick. Yeah, Princess in Incognito with the two glosses I mentioned, the eyeshadow palette and the highlighter. So I think you guys are gonna enjoy this collection. It's super cute. If you haven't seen Aladdin, go check it out. Remember the first 20 minutes is kind of a hot mess, but after that, you guys are gonna love it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and last but not least, strut and slay.